Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Outlook 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to save and update contact information. Let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to create contacts. I'm currently in my inbox within Outlook and to view contacts or to add your contacts, you need to go to the people card window and the people card window could be found down here on the bottom left side and it's right here and it's with the two people and that icon. When you click on that, it'll take you to your address book. My address book is currently blank. I do not have any contacts in here. If yours doesn't have any contacts, it uh, will show this uh, screen that says we did not find anything to show here. If you do have contacts, it'll list them in alphabetical order right in this spot. So I'm going to show you how to add a contact first. And so the way that we do that is first we're within the people module and then we go right here to the home tab. It should be selected by default and then the new group and you click right here on new contact. When you click new contact it'll open up the full contact window. This has all of the customization options within Microsoft Outlook and this is where you can start to organize your address book. And so let's start by typing the person's name. You're going to want to type the person's first name first and then their last name. Next you can press tab and it'll take them to the company. Okay, This is where you can type in the person's company. After you type the person's company you can press job, uh, tab to go down to the job title and this is where you can type in their job title. Alright, so then uh, we're going to skip down here to uh, right here where it says email and this is where the email address is. This is probably one of the most important fields because if you're going to email the person then you need to be able to um, type this correctly. Okay, so this is uh, very important to type correctly. So you click down here on this spot and you will see I'm going to type in the email. There we go. And there. All right, once we have the email typed, you can press tab to move down and we can see that over here on the right side, the business card is displaying with the person's name, their company, their job title, and finally their email address. Okay, uh, this is kind of the bare minimum for information on what you're going to want. Uh, I suppose the real bare minimum would be their first name, last name, and email address, but we have their information here. Now to finish updating your new contact, you go right over here to the contact tab the actions group and you click right here save and close. So that's how you create a new contact. As soon as you create the new contact you'll see right here it says contact name and you also have some options over here on the right side. You see their job and their company and you also see this button right here which is send email message to them. So it's an easy way to communicate with them. I'll have a video up in the future on how to communicate with contacts and groups of contacts. Next up, you'll see right here, you have your contact information. You could schedule a meeting with them. You could also send them an email from this link, and you could also view the original source right over here. All right, finally, you can see their company contact right there. Okay, this is great. So the next thing that I'm gonna show you how to do is display your inbox and to add a contact from your inbox. This is a very popular way to um, add a uh, contact because it's easy because a lot of the information is already there. So the first thing you need to do is go to your inbox card window that's right over here in the bottom left with the mail icon. That'll take you back to your inbox and I have my inbox selected and then I see that I have two emails in here. To save a contact from an email I'm going to save my own right here and you'll see that when you click it it'll show up in the read menu over here and then from there you can hover over it click this drop down area and then go to add and that will add the contact. Okay. You could also alternatively hover over the person's name or email address, right click and then go to add to Outlook contacts. Okay. So that's one other way to do it. When you do this, it'll grab all of the information from the person and add it automatically to your contact list. I'm not going to do that on here because mine is set to my default work email. So I'm not going to do that, but that's how you would. All right. So that's how you could check out that and add to your address book from your uh, inbox. The next thing that I'm going to show you how to do is how to um, edit a existing contact. And so I went back to the people module right inside here. Okay. And then inside the people module, I'm going to use the uh, contact index to uh, edit this Dante Dur Durkin. Okay. Now keep in mind that if I want to edit this, you can click it and it'll allow you to edit the name, email, phone, instant message, work, 
address, and birthday, but it's not all of the options that we saw from before. So if I really want to see all of those options from before, what you have to do is click on the person, go right over here to View Source, which is Outlook right there. You click on View Source. When you do that, it'll open up that previous menu that we were looking at. This is where you can edit all of your contact options. And so I'm going to show you some of the cool options that they have in here. And uh, we're eventually going to add in multiple emails for this person, as well as the address, and even map the address. So we open up this in the contact record window. And the first part that I'm going to do is right here it says File As Durkin Dante. This is how it'll look when you search for the person in your Outlook contacts. If I wanted to say search for anyone at Bellows College, let's say I had like within five contacts there that I usually talk to, I'm going to hit this drop down where it says file as, and then go right here to Bellows College, and change that to say Bellows College. That way if I type in Bellows College in a search for uh, a new message, it'll just pop up with Dante's name as well as anyone else from Bellows College. Okay, so for the next part here, I'm going to go down here to web address, and I'm going to click on web address, and then I'm going to type in the Bellows College web address, which is where this person works. All right, so I type that in, and I'll press tab to finalize that, and you'll see that gets added right over here in the business card. All right, the next thing that I'm going to do is show you how to differentiate between work email and home email for this person. Let's say that we also have Dante's home email. Right here it says email. Okay, and there's a drop down arrow right next to it. And if I click that, I have an option for email two. I'm going to go ahead and click that. When I click email two, I see right here that it got rid of all the information here except for the website address. And for email two, I'm going to type in Dante's other email. Okay, so I type that in. There we go. I press tab. Okay, and you'll see how it displays. And let's say I want to differentiate this to be his home email. Well, I'm going to change this from Dante Durkin and showing the full email to just say home in this area. Keep in mind the display as is what it'll display when you type it in into a new message. So if I want to make sure that I send it to his home email or his personal email, I would then know that because it's displaying as home. Okay. And then for his home address, let's say that I wanted to add in his home address, I'm just going to choose a random address here, and I'll just type in 123 Main Street, uh, oops, sorry, and then I'll press enter, and maybe it's New York, New York, I'll put a comma, okay, maybe that's all the information that I have, so I type in the home address, and then I can click right here on map it, and it'll ask me what's the zip code because I typed in an incomplete address. Maybe I don't know that zip code so I need to find it real quick. If I click OK here, it's actually going to pop up with a new window that maps the address for me using Bing Maps. And then I can see right here that actually looks like somebody's place. Alright, so anyway, um, that sent me to uh, this main address right here. And so maybe it's 10307. Okay. So now I can type in 10307. Okay, so there's my full address right there. Okay, and so you type in that address, and that looks good. So now we it, again, it's differentiated between uh, email one and email two, and then we could click save and close. Great. To add another contact, we could go right here to new contact, and this time let's say that I wanted to add this person into the Bellows College area right here. Um, you'll see that I do not have a file as option for Bellows College, but let's start typing the person's name, which is Abby Rodriguez, and her title is Dean of Students. Okay, and so uh, you have some options. If I go here to Bellows College, okay, and I type in Dean of Students right there, I could then file this as Bellows College, so that when I search for Bellows College, both her and Dante will show up in the search results. I could save and close this, and we see those two right there. Okay. So again, that is how we save and update contact information within Outlook 2016. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing uh, to the channel. And if you have any questions, please put the questions in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond to you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.